The defense headquarters in Yan say naval troops and where they operate along the nation's maritime waters and successfully so they've been free one Chinese vessel we being Colobi attack and from the coast of Cote d'Ivoire. The coordinator for the defense media operation, Major General John Enenche, Yan say troops then successfully arrested ten of the pirates after one heavy firefight and why then been they tried to rescue eighteen crew members. A Chinese vessel MV Hailfang 2 was attacked by the pirates off the coast of Cote d'Ivoire. And what these pirates did was to divert this vessel to the Nigerian waters. They had 18 crew members on board, and immediately the Nigerian Navy was alerted. We activated our own Nigerian Navy ship, Nguru, and it was dispatched to intercept the vessel that was attacked by pirates. They refused to stop. And what did we do? Our gallant naval special boat service conducted an opposed boarding. What do you mean by opposed boarding? That is combat, fight. They fought their way through. And this happened around 140 nautical miles of our waters. And they were able to subdue the Pirates. Ten of them were arrested while the 18 crew members were all rescued. These crew members comprised of Chinese, Ghanaians, and then Ivorians. That is an international feat achieved by our Nigerian Navy. Several members of Boko Haram terrorists and housewife fighters, senior commanders also were neutralized, and their logistics facilities, gun trucks, and other structures destroyed, as well as recovery of several weapons. These two occurred via our airstrikes and then ground operations. I will tell you that at the record systems are 20 VHC and Astral terrorists and some weapons, 6 AK-47, we are recovered. In all this, I will say that the bandits and militias neutralized within this period stands as 29 because we put that figure together. On this note, I want to say that the military high command Congratulate all the gallant troops of the Nigerian Army, Navy, and Air Force, and all personnel of other security agencies involved in all these operations in the past one week.